Hello everyone and thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. Oslo Cancer Cluster is a successful example of cross-sectorial collaboration. You have a clear goal and serve as an inspiration for others aiming to achieve high-level innovation. The Norwegian Ministry of Education and Research is responsible for the higher education sector and research policy in Norway. These are exciting times as I recently started updating the government's long-term policy for research and higher education. Norway's first long-term plan for research and higher education was introduced in 2014. The idea then, as it is now, was to commit policies and funding for a longer period. This gives researchers and their institutions more predictable funding and the plan is also a good tool for advancing quality. The government is now working on a new plan for the coming 10 years. We want to ensure that the plan is still relevant in meeting a cha the challenges that so society faces. A central theme relates to how research and innovation policy can be oriented towards solving social and global challenges. As you are well aware, the European Union has adopted mission-oriented policy as part of Horizon Europe with cancer as one of the mission's areas. I have asked for input about whether Norway should develop missions as part of the updated long-term plan, and in case, how and for which areas. Oslo Cancer Cluster has already suggested Norway launch a cancer mission, with a specific goal of reducing the time from when clinical trials with new drugs start, to when those drugs can be part of standard patient treatment in hospitals. I would like to praise the OCC for being both visionary and specific. I'm looking forward to receiving further input from the wider research, innovation and higher education communities, OCC included. Now, some of you had some questions for me and I will try to answer a few of them now. The first question, what are some of the initiatives supporting research groups within the life science, specifically oncology research? Excellent schemes in the Research Council of Norway are not aimed specif specifically at certain subject areas as such. Centers of excellence, support for young research talents, outgoing Marie Curie scholars, etc. cover all fields. The second question is, how is Norway supporting its academic institutions so that they can focus on academic talent and strengthen the research groups of the future? Now, we have uh, prioritized a significant part of the public research funding as basic finance for the research institutions. That is to secure favorable conditions for basic research, the development of academic talents and research groups working with long-term research perspectives. And this autumn, the government will present its new strategy for research careers and recruitment, focusing on how to improve conditions for young research talents. On to the third question. With respect to education and attracting researchers to Norway, what are some of the strategies to keep top researchers? Norway needs to be attractive for researchers around the globe to fulfill our ambitions for higher education quality. Many research institutions have schemes in plan to recruit and keep good researchers. Exactly how they do it vary. Rather than the detailing instructions, the government aims to provide the institutions with the tools, incentives and infrastructure they need to stay attractive. And last but not least, a question about funding and the debate regarding the evolution of the funding applications. What are the strategies to ensure comp competence and transparency of the evaluation process and trust by research community? As a result of the recent debate concerning the quality and methods for research evaluation and funding processes, the Research Council has, among other measures, invited to an open discussion about its evaluation and allocation processes. Stakeholders from different parts of the research and innovation community have given, and are also welcome to give, input on existing problems of the evaluation process and poten potentials for improvement and change. 
I'm confident the Council will take this input seriously as they work to ensure good quality evaluation and allocation schemes. Finally, a few words to the people along the entire cancer value chain. Every year, nearly 35,000 Norwegians are diagnosed with cancer. Last year, this disease killed nearly 10 million people worldwide. A lot of people living now and in the future will be grateful for the efforts that you are making today. Your way of working represents an inspiration. You bring together basic exploratory research, applied methods such as clinical testing, industry and commercialization, and extensive cross-sector collaboration. For a number of challenges, this approach shows great promise. Thank you for the important work you are doing and good luck.